Hello everybody, Tegan here with High Point. Thank you so much for tuning in. With the recent release of the EAFN and the EAF Pro, it is becoming apparent that these are a staple for those who want to fully automate their astrophotography imaging rig. Now, in our last video, we went into detail on the EAFN. We talked about what an EAF in general is, how to attach it to your telescope, and how it works within the ASI Air app. The EAF Pro, on the other hand, is a new iteration with some incredible features taking full automation to the next level. So without further ado, let's take a deeper look into the EAF Pro from ZWO. I'm Tegan with High Point. Like, subscribe, and stay tuned. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the EAF Pro, what comes in the box, product specifications, as well as how it works within the ASI Air app. But we're also going to be focusing on three of its new features, which significantly increase imaging autonomy. Let's dive into the specifications. The EAF Pro boasts a step angle of 7.5 degrees with an impressive gear reduction ratio of 1 to 128. It has an 11 pound weight capacity and now has the ability to connect to your ASI Air device via Bluetooth. On the front of the EAF, you'll find the 4mm coupler shaft as well as two mounting holes for the EAF bracket. On the back of the EAF, you'll see an on-off switch designed to operate the internal rechargeable 2500 mAh battery. Next, and also a new addition to the EAF, are two large in-out buttons to manually adjust the focus of your telescope. Below these, you have the standard USB-C for power and direct USB connection. And lastly, a hand controller port for the optional ZWO hand controller. Now, here in a moment, we'll dive deeper into the three new features of the EAF, with those features being the Bluetooth connectivity, the internal battery, as well as the in-out manual focus adjustment buttons. But for right now, let's take a look at what comes in the box. First, we have the EAF Pro body itself, along with four different size couplers, a four to four millimeter, a four to five, a four to six, and a four to seven millimeter. We also have the EAF bracket for attaching the EAF to your focuser, and that comes with several M4 and M5 hex screws and washers, as well as two appropriately sized hex keys. Lastly, you'll find the USB-C to USB-A cable for direct connection if you choose to go that route. Out of the box, the EAF comes with everything that you need to attach it to most telescopes on the market. If you want to learn more on how to install the EAF to your focuser, take a look in the link in the description. It brings you to our last video on the EAFN where we go over that exact process. So at this point in the video, we've talked about what comes in the box as well as product specifications, but now it's time to get into the meat and the potatoes, the buttons, the Bluetooth, and the battery. The EAF Pro now comes with Bluetooth capabilities, meaning you can wirelessly connect to an ASI Air, an MC Air camera, or any compatible software without the use of a single cable. Well, what about power, you ask? Wasn't the USB-C cable responsible for both power and connection, you know, both in a single cable? Yes, it was, but now with a fully charged internal battery coupled with Bluetooth connectivity, you can now operate your EAF Pro completely cable-free for what ZWO claims to be up to seven consecutive nights running two autofocus routines per hour. Lastly, ZWO has introduced the in-out focus buttons for manual adjustment of your telescope's focuser. Now, this is a great feature when preparing to run your autofocus routine. Before you run your routine, you have to make sure that your stars are in near focus. They don't have to be perfect, but they have to be in near focus. The addition of these in-out manual adjustment buttons allow you to achieve this near focus while also saving you time out in the field. So with that, let's go take a look at what equipment we'll be using tonight for the first test of the EAF Pro. For our first night out with the EAF Pro, we'll be using it with the Aperture 75Q Quintuplet Refractor. Attached to the 75Q is the ASI 2600MC Air, along with the ZWO Camera Angle Adjuster. This entire imaging rig sits on the AM5 Equatorial Mount. Now, in this test, we'll show you exactly how to connect the 2600MC Air using the new Bluetooth functionality, as well as how it performs out in the field on our first focus routine. Now, upon opening the box, the first thing that you'll notice is an important message from ZWO. It says, please connect to a PC, ASI Air, or power charger to activate before first use. Now, this is only necessary the first time that you use the EAF Pro, and if you fully charge the device before your first use, as recommended in the EAF manual, then naturally you will have already completed the step. 
So now to connect the EAF to your ASI Air, make sure the switch on the EAF is in the on position. Once you open the ASI Air app and connect your camera and other accessories, select the EAF button at the top of the page. Then select the Bluetooth connection method to remotely connect to your EAF. Once connected, you'll see settings like charge remaining on internal battery, along with standard EAF focus settings like the ability to refocus during your selected temperature or time intervals. So now that we have the EAF connected, now we have to run the autofocus routine, but first we have to achieve decent focus in our stars. To do this, navigate back to the home page and let's start taking some test exposures. Use the manual in out buttons on the EAF itself to adjust your focus, taking an exposure after each adjustment to be sure that you've achieved a decent focus here. Once we've achieved a decent focus, on the left side of your screen, you'll notice the focuser icon. Click on that and then click the AF or autofocus button down at the bottom. From here, we can click the play button and watch as the EAF creates that perfect V-curve for a nice sharp focus. So each night out testing the EAF Pro was a success and I was able to achieve that perfect V-curve within the ASI Air app every single time I ran the autofocus routine. It was really nice being able to achieve those perfectly sharp stars without having to worry about extra cables to manage or those extra cables snagging on my equipment. The EAF Pro was designed for those who are looking to reduce the number of cables that they need to manage when setting up their gear and also for those who are working towards full automation of their Astro Imaging Rig. Well, that is it for our full review of the EAF Pro from ZWO. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments and we'll be more than happy to assist. Check the description. We've provided a link that'll take you directly to the EAF Pro webpage on the High Point Scientific website. Again, I'm Tegan with High Point. Thank you so much for tuning in and clear skies.